Wednesday, July 26th, and many of you know that I was an adjunct professor at Nassau Community College for 26 years, and I taught computer science and subjects related to computers, and at that time there were very few textbooks around, and there were very few curricula that had been designed to teach computer science because it was a brand new industry. In fact, one of the few people who had written a textbook was a gentleman who worked for IBM, and I got to meet him. His name was Ivan Flores, and I met him because in the course of my teaching, I, he had come around to the college and was explaining to many of us how, it went, how he came about to write some basic textbooks in the art of programming. Now, programming at that time was a coding scheme. You learned one of several different languages, like Autocoder, or PL1, or Fortran. All of those things required teaching. And there weren't many textbooks around for students to get their hands on. So Flores was making a good living because he had written one of the textbooks. And why am I talking about this? I'm talking about this because apparently what's happened in colleges beyond the outrageous tuition fees is that there is a piece of software that has been developed by several different companies and it's called courseware. And this courseware has been developed for many different subjects. And one of them, one of the primary subjects related to courseware, is the STEM subject. And you know what STEM is. That's technology, electronics, mathematics, science. That's what STEM stands for. And so courseware is an additional cost for students if they get involved with a professor who uses courseware as part of his teaching methodology. And there are many professors who take total advantage of courseware and basically set their students learning the entire, the entire subject matter that the professor is supposed to be teaching through the courseware. And then there are others who take the courseware and modify it somewhat to what they want to talk about. So they don't cover the entire curriculum that the courseware might provide. But here's the ugly part of that situation. You pay tuition, outrageous tuition fees when you go to college. And courseware costs a minimum of a hundred bucks to get it. And it ensures that the professor really doesn't have to go into great detail or really give you a really, really good teaching environment if they use courseware to their advantage and not to your advantage. So this is a blight, in my mind, on the educational system in this country, that we would allow the publishers of textbooks to create a monster like courseware. Textbooks are on the downswing, apparently. And so the companies have developed these courseware products to replace the textbooks. And the courseware products come complete from soup to nuts within the courses. It has all the exams built in. It has the answers to the exam. It has the methodologies for writing essays. It has everything a student possibly needs except the great interaction with another human, that human being the professor. 
There's nothing in my mind that can replace a good professor in a class because professors bring out the best in students. They recognize the problem that students are having in the classes and they will attempt to single out individual students for some guidance if necessary. You don't get that with courseware. You don't get that with online learning. So this is a major mistake that universities are using. It's one of the major reasons that they have gone to this courseware system is because they can take adjunct professors, pay them piss-poor salaries, and not worry about the curriculum because they've given the students courseware to use. And so if you have a beginning professor, a part-time instructor, he's got courseware to save his ass. Because many part-time instructors are not really up to the task being able to teach certain products. In fact, when I was at Nassau Community College, Ralph Kaso was the supervisor in Nassau County. And he would appoint 50 teachers to Nassau Community College. Teachers, of course, they weren't teaching any of the STEM subjects. They were teaching history, maybe, or English. But they were incompetent. In fact, that was one of the reasons that we were able to form the National Community College Teachers Union. And we got rid of Ralph Caso and his inept professors. So I think that our students in this country are being robbed of the personal, the interaction between professor and student that is critical in many areas of college learning. I can't imagine that you could be shipped off with a piece of courseware and be on your own for the entire semester, hardly integrating with the students in your class. Let's not forget that. The interaction between students is almost as important as the interaction between the student and the professor. So we've eliminated that in, these, in many schools. Many schools have totally turned over portions of their curricula to courseware. And it's a shame. And what's even a bigger shame, what's even a bigger disgrace, is the amount of money that they're charging the students to get these courseware. Textbooks are expensive enough. But courseware costs maybe three or four times what a textbook would cost. So we are doing a disservice to many of our college students. And I am willing to bet you that most of you have never heard of courseware before. So I'll leave you with that. A blight on our educational system. Have a great day. Bye.